Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to a very early look of Northgard. Now, this game was, I was provided a review copy, a preview copy rather, by Shiro Games to check out Northgard. And Northgard is one of the games I included in my top 10 list for strategy games to watch in 2017. Now, Vikings, as if you can't tell already, those are Viking longships right there. Uh, if you can't tell already, Vikings is a bit of a theme now with uh, the winter update bringing a Viking scenario to Civilization VI. For Honor, you can play as Vikings. Uh, Banner Saga 3 Kickstarter's on the way. Vikings is kind of a thing. And uh, well, here's another Viking game. And this is an RTS and it's going into early access next week or sometime soon so it's not out yet you can't get it yet but it's coming out soon and i wanted to check it out not just because it's vikings which are cool it is a strategy game and i love checking out new strategy games so i did check this out a little bit because there is no tutorial and i wasn't too sure of how things were supposed to be working right so i did play a little bit but let's jump into it we we've got uh, an options menu here Pretty decent options menu for a game that's not out yet. <laughs> uh, we've got all the usual stuff, uh, border scrolling, blah blah blah, enable tips, uh, camera move. The tips are basically the only form of tutorial right now. Um, full screen, borderless full screen. Borderless full screen is already, it's, it's as a streamer, as a, a content creator, borderless full screen is pretty much the best thing because I can move my mouse off screen to my second monitor and control things. And we've got some controls here. Are these rebindable? These are not rebindable at the moment, as far as I can tell. Okay, let's go to single player. We're gonna pick a color. My name is GamerZack. I'm gonna set it on easy difficulty for now because actually no, let's go straight into normal. Might as well. We'll see how difficulty is on normal. AI players, do we want a max of three or... Well, we'll put two. We don't want too many people crowding up the thing. I'll pick blue. Blue's a nice calm color. I like it. Um, and okay. And then we get to pick our clan. Now right now there are three clans to choose from. There's Fenrir, Clan of the Wolf. Aethirnir, Clan of the Stag. And Hadron, Clan of the Goat with two coming soon clans over there. Uh, not too sure what they're going to be. And basically, each clan, uh, it's going to be different bonuses. Now, this is a Gamer Encounters, and I forgot to mention, as with all of my Gamer Encounters, there's going to be an eye icon on the YouTube video. There's going to be an eye icon in the top right corner where you can vote what you think of the game. And this game is, uh, it's an RTS, but it's a bit more on the macro side. It's a macro kind of RTS. A bit less on the micro, but not to say there's no micro. Anyway. Fenrir, the clan of the wolf, aggressive, protective of their freedom, and more than a little reckless, they are well prepared to face the dangers of Northgard and use their combined might and mobility to leave little chance to all but the most resilient. Start with weaponsmith knowledge, which increases your warrior's attack, military units eager to fight, okay, move faster. Uh, fame, your military units gain 20% attack bonus when fighting outside your territory. Uh, yeah, the mechanics are not what you would expect of an RTS, by the way. You, you'll see them soon. Berserkers, okay. Clan of the Stag. Clan of the Stag, proud of their legacy of astonishing achievements. They are renowned as much for their honorable and regal manner as their harsh justice and unyielding strength. Valuing wealth and fame, they are highly ambitious expansionists. Start with bonus food, wood, crowns, hall of skulls. This replaces the brewery. Additional fame. Uh, all productions gain plus one positive happiness. Okay, dedication. Upgraded buildings gain an additional 10% production bonus. And Clan of the Goat, Hadron. The Clan of the Goat, when it comes to surviving in dangerous conditions and building sturdy settlements, the Clan of the Goat has, has, no, has no rival. They will endure and survive no matter what. Start with three sheep. Your clan members consume 10% less food. Increasing production bonus, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm feeling Clan of the Stag. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for Clan of the Stag here. By the way, welcome to the stream, Sajukes, Let's Plays, Matt Tannen, uh, Caleb Craven. Hope you're enjoying it. Good number of you in chat right now. Um, all right, let's go. Uh, let's start the game. By the way, if you're watching this live on stream, the poll is not there on the stream. It'll be there in the video. <laughs> here we go. Starting a North Guard game as Clan of the Stag. Okay. So I've played a little bit just to figure out how things work. So you start with these villagers, right? And they, by default, are just gathering food. Here's all your resources on the top. And it, the tips do sort of act as a bit of a 
thing. Now, one interesting thing is there are multiple victory conditions. You can get fame victory, right? Which is you have to do those things there. There is a technology tree, three trees here, or three branches of the tree. And if you get all these final techs, you can win a, a law victory. And of course, there, there's a, a few other victory things, which I think, I think there are anyway. Anyway, let's get to building. Our town hall produces villagers. We're going to need to get some resources going. So let's go ahead and get a scout camp. Now, one interesting thing about this game is you see these borders. We cannot go to the next area, right? You can't go outside of this area because you need to have a scout that reveals this location, right? It's an RTS, but it's sort of very territory based and macro based so let's see what else can we build here woodcutters lodge we're gonna need some woodcutters get to that and let's get some scouts so this uses the send the villager to a building to become that thing sort of training method so here we go we've got a scout and he's gonna start revealing this next location which you can see needs to be explored before we can even see what's there it's a bit interesting like that all right so we could get a second scout right away. I might want to build a house soon. You have enough houses for five people. Yeah, we're gonna need to build a house. Let's get a house down right there. If we leave these villagers idle, don't worry, they're not idle. They still gather food. There we go. We can set this guy to be a woodcutter, which increases our wood. Now, resource gathering, it's not they go cut down a tree and bring it back. It's just a, a fixed increase per, per minute, per second. Uh, that's plus four. It seems to be every th few seconds it goes up by one. There we go. So the scout has scouted up this area and it's got a wolf in it and some stones. So because there's a wolf in it, we can't colonize it. But don't worry, that scout's going to go scout out something else now. We're almost at max population here. So we got this house. We're going to set another one of you onto that. We're going to get a second scout to just start scouting things a little bit quicker. And what else do we want to build? We don't want, need a trading post. Um, I think we need a training camp. We're gonna squeeze in a training camp right there because we need to kill that wolf so we can start expanding. But here we go, we've revealed this. This area has deer, oh fantastic. And you can see it colonized for 20 food. We're gonna colonize this area and claim it for our own good. So our scouts are going to keep on scouting. You can see our second scout's going west here. We have now claimed this area where I can now put down... I want a hunter's lodge in this area, which we need to send a villager. We've only got one spare villager right now. We're going to get another villager soon because uh, crowns. We got plus two crowns from town hall. Okay. Scouts revealed a new area. We have a rune stone here, which we could uh, get some lore going. Mm -hmm. You yeah. go build that. Because you can see here, we're losing food and we need, we need food. Otherwise, our people are going to starve. So it's very important we get hunting going very soon. Over here, there is stone. Stone is used for upgrading buildings. So you can see if I se select a building, we can upgrade any of these. Even the house can be upgraded, but you need stone to do that. Okay. Now, from what I understand, things can be quite, uh, uh, quite, uh, games can take a long time, really. Uh, so we'll see how much we can have a look at so far. Oh, we found Draugr, uh, surrounding a circle of stones, will produce 50% more law in this area. This one is just produce law. Okay. So law is basically tech, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. We're gonna get two hunters. And that should solve our food problem. Now, food is important because I'm gonna change the scout into a warrior, by, by the way, because I want to go kill this wolf. I think one warrior can kill a wolf. Okay, yes, we can. Oh, there's a second wolf. All right, let's go save our villager here. And can we colonize this area? Yep, we can. So you can be invaded like this by other players or by wolves and stuff like that. But there we go. Uh, I don't think these Draugr invade. 
So, ooh, but would you look at that, an iron deposit. Iron deposits can be a little tricky, but there's a shipwreck as well. I don't know what a shipwreck is. <laughs> ah, but iron deposit. Iron is used for like higher level military stuff and upgrading your tools, which make certain things work better. Okay, so we've claimed this area, so we can go ahead and build a mine. So we can get some stone coming in. To claim this area with the iron, which is what I really want next, um, I need to kill this bear. Now, bear is a little trickier than uh, other things. Okay, how's our food? Plus two? Oh, we have some spare villagers. Okay, we're gonna start needing some extra food soon. The next hunting area is over here. So I could sort of claim here, then here. I can't claim here straight away because I think these rocks sort of count as a barrier. Okay. You get to mining some stone. We have a spare villager here. Let's, uh, let's become a another warrior. Now, I'm not sure if two warriors is enough to kill a bear. Are you an extra... Let's get three warriors. Because we're definitely gonna lose one of these guys. Now, controlling these guys is a little trickier. You sort of double-click to select all, and you have to right-click for each one. But never mind. Three warriors should be enough to get rid of this bear. All right. And we lost one warrior. But now we can colonize for 80 food. But uh, we're so currently losing food, which is not so great. Um, perhaps I expanded a little bit too soon. Okay, we're gonna start building up some of our food here. I know we can upgrade this, but we need 10 stone to do it and we've only got two. Damn it. Ah. Frost Pegasus says, reminds me of the old Settler games. It does a bit, doesn't it? Anyway, I want to make sure this iron deposit is secure, and then I want to expand over to this deer area. But we need food to do that, and uh, our population is about to max out. I mean, I could. Oh, we're even losing crowns. This is not so great. We're about to get a new tech, though. I'm not sure. Increased military... Uh, plus... Gain plus two crowns. Woodcutters produce more wood. Gain plus two crowns production. I might need to get that straight away. So we stop losing money. We're getting some more villagers in, which is increasing our food. But let's... Let's boost up our stone harvesting. And we'll get this. So... This is the tech tree, no problem. So now we're not losing money, we're actually gaining money. We're losing food though. Uh, it's because more villagers meant more... Yeah. Uh, I think I'll change one of these woodcutters back into a villager. Allowing him to gather food, there we go. Oh, that is not good. I forgot about winter. There is winter in this game. <laughs> um, oh dear. Uh, we have discovered Relic of the Gods. It'll help us achieve victory. You gain 50 crowns. Okay, I need to get rid of these soldiers. Because we're losing food and we need to just get some people killed. Ah, uh, winter. Winter is a thing in this game. Okay, that cuts down our consumption a little bit. Let's see if we can make it through winter without starving too much. <laughs> oh, this is, this is a little tricky. Wow, there's so many of you guys watching. Uh, welcome to the stream. This is Northgard by Shiro Games. Review copy was provided. It's a Viking RTS and look at this massive sword. Allows you to recruit three lawmasters. Lawmasters produce 100% more law in this area. All right, good. Are our scouts still going? Or did our scouts die? 
We got one scout. Oh yeah, we've only got one scout, right? I turned the other one into a soldier. Okay. I think we might be able to make it through this winter. Can I upgrade this yet? Requires town hall upgrade? Um, requires upgraded town hall. So we gotta upgrade our town hall first. So let's do that. You need to stockpile wood and food. Oh, that actually put us plus on the food. Fantastic, we're not gonna starve this winter. <laughs> All right, upgrading the town hall. We have some spare villagers here. How much stone do we have? Five? I need to upgrade this hunter's lodge because it gains 20% meat production bonus and we get to put three hunters in there. Food is sort of an issue because we need food to expand. And I need to expand to this area to claim this iron deposit and move over here for more food. Our scout was hurt while exploring a new area. Oh, it's because of the wolves. What is that? Draugr tombs. Can I grab this scout and tell him to explore this shipwreck? I think I, I might have to claim it first. All right, we got plus two on food. More villagers are coming in and they're just sort of gathering food, which feeds themselves. We've got nine stone. Okay. One more stone and we will be able to upgrade our hunter's lodge. Waiting for winter to end here. You come over here. So we can upgrade this. Which is gonna increase our food production. And get three hunters going and winter is over look at that food production boost back up plus 15 we made it through winter without starving fantastic uh by the way in case any of you are wondering this game is coming to steam early access uh at some point uh soon i think all right so there's a wolves then oh look at that a whole bunch of iron mines but it seems to be guarded quite heavily we need more houses uh, let's put... I remember I took one off there. And we're getting plus... How much do we need to claim this? 80 food? Okay, no problem. I need to build another house, which we are short on wood. Because I was uh, one down on woodcutters, so that's not going to be a problem. We'll get 80 food soon, and we'll claim this. Okay, so you can see the map is pretty big. Is that... There's a green border here. I think this is one of our rivals. The green unknown, which seems to be Fenrir. Okay, let's colonize this area. We're gonna grab one villager. Come on over here. We should build a house first though, right? Build that. So we can get more villagers going. But you have to be careful not to... Uh, uh, expand your population too much because then you will uh, start to starve. By the way, a good indicator of how well you're doing this uh, fame counter is sort of your score and you can get a score victory basically by doing those things. All right, so we are going to build a mine which needs 50 wood. All right, come here. We should get 50 wood soon enough. Have we upgraded our house? We have not, right? Boosts it by two. So it costs stone and money. But I think it's cheaper than... 50-10? 50-50. Oh, it's, it's for efficiency, right. Rats have been reported need to store our food in silos or else it'll get eaten. Uh, I don't think we can afford a silo right now. Let's see, healers hut, defense house, trading post, training camp, woodcutters lodge. Is it an advanced thing? Improves food production in this area by 10%, increases your maximum food storage. Oh, so we definitely want to build a silo in our hunting area, right? How much wood does it cost? A hundred wood. Okay, we need to start getting more woodcutters, right? I think I can have a woodcutter's lodge here. Construction of iron mine complete. Get to mining some iron. 
you can see over here in our warrior's hut, it takes five iron to get a war chief. And I think it's five iron to upgrade any of our tools. So there's 30 iron here. Fantastic. Now, villager. We're gonna get enough for... Okay, do we have enough food to... It's June, okay. 120 food to expand to this area. Okay, we probably can't expand quite yet. Alright, you come here, build a woodcutter's lodge. Alright, we'll get more wood going, and then we can build a silo here to increase our food production even more. Our scout died while exploring a new area. Let's grab a new scout. And we'll send you to explore the, sh the shipwreck. Fantastic. <laughs> That's a huge sword, evil scientist. Yeah, it's a relic of the gods. Oh, we have enough to get a new tech. Um, increase all your military attack powers. Woodcutters produce 15% more wood. Uh, gain plus two law production. Let's get more wood going. Okay, good. That increases how much wood we're going. Ah, the stone mine has run out. Can I select you? I can't... Okay, here's the problem. I, I don't think I can select that guy back there. Where's the... You. You are going to... Does this make you a villager again? It does. Okay. So we need a hundred... Are we getting 19 wood? Okay. Can we claim this area? We can. We're gonna colonize... Ashley. Oh no, we can't colonize there yet. It is August. We do need to prepare for winter. I think I can go ahead and claim it. We should have enough food stockpiled for the winter. Let's build a food silo. New title, Thane. All production gain plus one per positive happiness. So all production is 2%. So we get... Happiness is a resource, and things sort of multiply on that. Uh, Krut Nishamel, pretty interested in this game. I hope you do a preview review on your channel. Yeah, well, we're checking it out now. <laughs> uh, Hunter's Lodge is currently working as fast as it can. We need to stockpile food now because it's going to become winter. We can improve our tools of... Uh, Hunters will produce 15% more meat. Yeah. Let's improve our hunters. Scouts scavenge the shipwreck gain 20 wood and 100 crowns. Oh, fantastic. And our scout's gonna keep on scouting. Can I, can a scout, like grab, no, it's guarded. Okay, no problem. All right, our territory's expanded there. I need to start clearing out these Draugr, I think. Which means we need to grab a bunch of our... Mm -hmm. I think I right-click to select all. Let's get a bunch of warriors. Can I upgrade this? Plus two warband, increase your military unit's life by 10%. Let's upgrade our training camp and we're gonna get... I'm gonna get four warriors. Grab all four warriors. And we're gonna clear out this area. There we go. Because I want to claim this circle of stone so I can get more lore coming in. Currently, based on the score, we're doing pretty well. We're about double our nearest competitor. Alright, things looking good. They, they sort of auto-attack, so it's okay. And our previous warriors did weaken them up a little bit. Oh, we didn't lose any of our troops. Fantastic. Now, we can colonize for 160. It is October. Do I want to colonize it now? Yeah. But let's throw this guy to his death. <laughs> uh, we just want to make sure we get to claim this. Fantastic. Plus seven. Now, we need to, hopefully, you can see winter is there. We'll stockpile any remaining food. Ah, our silos have protected us from a rat infestation. Yes! Okay, good. 
Uh, we have 10 stone. Is there anything else we want to upgrade? If I upgrade this, increase all your scouts scouting speed by 20%. Oh, we are losing money. Um, huh. Uh, I didn't realize we're losing crowns. We have too many... Oh, we have too many buildings. I can get rid of this quarry, right? Ah, good. I should remember to delete the old buildings. Lesson learned. <laughs> Any concept of gods and divine favor here? The only favor system is this stuff. It's law and it basically... When you get enough techs unlocked, you get to unlock one of these blessings. And if you unlock all of these blessings, you win the game. It's one of the victory conditions. Oh look, the green borders are expanding. And it's winter. I think we have enough food to, to make it through. Now that we have an upgraded Hunter's Lodge, three Hunters and a food silo in that area, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna select a villager and set you to getting on this law thing. So we have two villagers back there collecting up stuff. Uh, population isn't growing, we need more happiness. We've maxed our population again. I don't think I can support much more unless I open up this area for hunting, which I should be able to. Uh, where is it? Hunter's Lodge. Let's grab a villager. We'll get more hunting going, and our law master over here has pushed our law over. Get a new thing. Reduce the amount of food necessary to colonize one area by 30%. Yes. We're not focusing too much on military right now because uh, we haven't really encountered anyone yet. Ah, oh, look at all of this iron. Whoever secures this area, I'm guessing this is the middle of the map. Um, whoever secures that area is gonna have all the iron. Can we improve our tools? We can. Let's increase our... We can't improve the hunters anymore. Law masses will provide 15% more lore. We could improve our warrior's attack power by 15%. Tremors have been reported a big earthquake. Okay. I'm gonna inc upgrade my warriors and upgrade our law masters. So we go from plus 8 to plus 9 just from that one guy. Fantastic. Wounded clan members have 20% reduced production. Oh, damn. A building with no workers. So our food production is actually suffering because this guy is wounded. Right. Um, to heal him. We need to... Uh, oh, we're losing money again. Damn it. I think I need to build something that can get us... Uh, getting a longship will allow us to raid for loot, but... 10 iron deposit left there? Ah, uh, I need to get rid of something. Can I get rid of... Our scout was hurt while exploring a new area. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of the scout camp for now. Yes, okay. Just so we get some money coming in. And we've made it through winter. Fantastic. Oh, we're being attacked. Nope, run away, run away. The wolves are coming over from the next area here. Are those guys coming in as well? All right, let's kill these wolves. Okay, fantastic. You... Go become a hunter as well. It seems like these creatures move around. There's Valkyries there. Okay, luckily we took care of those wolves. Unhappy clan members. Expected happiness five. We have too many wounded. Ah, but we don't have enough money. What can we do to get more money? Merchants will produce 30% more crowns? 
Silas gain 10% food production. Increases your healer's healing speed. I guess we'll work to making more money here. But building a marketplace... Uh, where is it? So building a marketplace costs 50. I think I, I was supposed to build a marketplace earlier, right? <laughs> uh, town hall building upkeep. Yeah, we're, we're just not making enough money. Out right here. This guy costs money as well. I think I... I need to... How do I do this? Jeez. Um, I guess I can get rid of this woodcutter's lodge. You guys go back to becoming villagers. Because we have plenty of wood. Okay. Our food's coming back up. 140 to colonize this area? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and colonize that. That should increase our happiness at least. We have one of you. Our territory is under attack. No, don't fight that guy. Let our warriors handle this. There we go. There's no way to, to sell anything, is there? I think I've put myself in a bit of a rut here. Uh, if I... reduce... the number of, our, of warriors we have... Alright, we just need active merchants. Alright, we can destroy that. Building up, keep minus four. I'm not sure what's giving us... Uh... That building is full, that building is full. Become a villager, and what is that? Oh, it's the earthquake. Uh, earthquake has damaged four buildings. We gotta repair them. For 15 wood, no problem, we got plenty of wood. Four buildings, where's the... Oh, this one. There we go, and new law for new knowledge. Scalds will produce plus one crowns? What are scalds? Plus one happiness for silos. Gain plus two law production? I suppose I should get that soon. Like, sooner than later. Uh, so that we get more lore earlier on. Okay. So I've got 35 crowns. <laughs> I think I have to just sort of destroy buildings to increase our crown production, right? I'm not training new camps right now, so it's fine. So I can't expand my territory anymore. So I could... It's August, right? Happiness is zero. Build? How much is it for a healer's hut? 60? Go build that. Uh, I think if we have healers, then we can heal up these wounded units. We've got four wounded, which is not so great. Plenty of food coming in, though. And it is almost winter, it's August. Actually, no, it's not almost winter. We've got plenty of food. We've got 45 crowns, okay. This is a little... Uh, <laughs> a bit of a setback, because um, we ran out of money. At least our territory in this corner of things is looking okay. Healer's hut. Uh, can't grow because we need more houses. 
Become a healer. Become a healer. Okay, so this should now be, yeah, healing a warrior. Okay. An unknown clan has obtained Baldur's Blessing. Three more and you'll achieve victory. Right, okay. How much is it? A longship cost? Oh, we have 50. Marketplace, yes. Build a marketplace. Let's get some crowns going. Ah, uh, <laughs> we needed the crowns. Meanwhile, 300 is pretty good. We have enough law to acquire new knowledge. What do we want? Reduces market price, place prices by 30%. Scouts will produce one crown. Increases your healer's healing speed. Silos gain a 10% food production bonus plus one happiness per silo. Let's get that. And now we get one of these special god blessings. You gain 20 stone, 10 iron. I love this one because I was looking at this earlier. If you never secure iron, this is one of your only ways to get iron. You gain plus three happiness. We definitely need that. Reduce loss of food production during winter. I'm gonna get the happiness. There we go. And now, this marketplace is done. Become a trader. Fantastic. Now I got plus four. Okay. Now I'm confident enough to start expanding our homes here. Oh, we don't have any more villagers. Wow. Well, that's all right. By the way, we ran out of crowns because training new warriors costs 20 crowns. We have so much wood. Can we sell wood? Or we can only buy? Or we can only buy wood and food? If we upgrade, can train one more merchant and all merchants in this area gain 20% crown production bonus. Okay. Uh, are there two people healing here? Yeah, I'm gonna set one of the healers to a merchant. Now we got plus seven, there we go. Solved our problem. Lesson learned, get a marketplace down sooner rather than later. And are we still healing things? We are healing a hunter. Construction waiting for builder. Yes, our territory is under attack. Bring you guys over here. All right, a wolf has wandered into our territory. So you always need a couple warriors on hand. And the next thing I want to build is I think a long ship. Ah, it's winter. We have 500 food. Not a problem whatsoever. We can organize a feast. A feast gives plus two and 20% bonus all production for one month. Let's throw a feast. 100 food, yeah. Organize a feast. That also increases the production for that. Everything goes up. Fantastic! It's like throwing a festival. Uh, Warband no longer reduce power when fighting outside your territory during winter. Civilians resistance by 30%. We need that. Yes. Now, we own this area. Let's get a long ship down. Actually, we need to build that house first. Um, let's grab this hunter. Because we need the house so we can actually get more people. Can we upgrade these houses? Yes, let's upgrade the house. Brings more people in. And we are going to next build the longship. Which actually, we got plus 10 on crowns. Everything's looking on the up and up. Uh, oh, we see a red border though. Our rivals are reaching the center. Oh, he's gonna get the... The iron deposit, damn. Let's get a long ship put down there. Building a new house. Have I upgraded this house? I have not. You are gonna go back to hunting. Can we improve any more tools? Woodcutters. Lawmasters already improved. Merchants produce 15% more crowns. Yeah. I'm gonna use five more iron to improve our crown production. Uh, we need a villager. Go. Can we not build this? Oh, you need to be a... Right. 
I thought I selected a villager. He's a woodcutter. Unknown clan has achieved Freya's blessing. Three more and he'll achieve victory. Okay, so yeah, you need four of those. Food is still plus during winter. Fantastic. Uh, scout still healed. Who are you? Healer without a job. I guess you, since we're not healing anyone anymore, we can send you over. You're gonna join this longship raiding party. And now we can rebuild our... Where is it? No. Oh, it's the end of winter. Where is the healer's hut, fisherman's hut, fields, tra training camp? I wanted a new training camp and I wanted a new scout camp. There we go. We'll get those two down. And now we have a long ship. <laughs> By the way, any of you in chat, if you want to say something to me, do put at GamerZack. It's easier for me to see. And Frank Muller says, hey, Viking Zack. Hey. I'm not sure how you say hello in Viking. Someone let me know. Uh, we can start a raid so we can fight for fame or fight for law. Allows you to launch raid for loot, crowns, and fame or law. I want to get law, I think. Go work there. You go work there. You become another scout. So do we have two people in the longship? Start raid. There we go. We're launching a raid. Yes. Huh. Our territory is under attack. Damn. Nope, nope. Back out. Back out. We'll let our warriors handle this. You get back to building. There we go. Which means... Oh, we've only got one guy. What's our population limit? 22? We could upgrade this. Another additional 5 stone. Gets us a bigger population. Up to 24. Oh, we can get more. Let's see, what do we want? Uh, increases Hunter's food production by 30%. Military units for... Uh, I'm gonna get sharp weapons because it increases our food production from 8 to 19. Wow. And also... Military units attack power by 15%. We can get a new healer. You have nothing to do, so... Uh, what do we need? Become a warrior, I think? Yeah, let's start getting some extra troops. Alright, we've got you, you, and you are injured. Okay. So now we're getting extra law and, I think, money from this longship. Because you can only choose from fame or law. Next title, Yao requires... Okay, reach Thane. That's fine. Right, Red just became Thane. Oh, I'm worried about Red getting these iron mines, though. How much we have? Ten. Do we want to improve any more tools? I don't think we need to. I'll save it in case of anything. Can we organize a feast? 150? Yeah, let's organize a feast. Okay. You. We need to grow our war band. Scout was hurt. Weather is cold this year. We'll have a blizzard in the winter, so you need to store a large amount of food and wood. Okay. Thank you for the heads up. We have th plus 30 on food. Wow. Um, 56 from hunters. Wow. Okay. Now we need to increase our war band size. How much is this? Five. Let's hire a war chief. Yes. I love how it's the same sound. <laughs> We've established contact with Olaf. Leader of the Goat Clan. We can now trade with them. And, uh... Oh, they didn't claim the iron bit. I suppose it is pretty heavily defended. Okay, we can now trade with them? How do you... 
trade with them. Maybe they need a marketplace as well? I'm not sure. Anyway, we need to grow our warband size. This will increase plus two. We need stone though. Okay, let's build a mine. We do actually have a stone deposit right here. You can get off uh, food. And we're gonna go grab some stone so we can start uh, up upgrading more buildings now. Gain plus three happiness if you have a war chief. Plus one happiness per training camp. Improves your war chief's attack by 50%. Mental units attack power for every... Okay. I think I need the happiness. No longer penalty. Reduce power when fighting outside your territory during winter. Well, it is going to be winter. Let's go for feeling safe. And we get a new blessing. 20 stone, 10 iron. Reduce loss of food production during winter. I'm going to go for the 20 stone and 10 iron. Because that allows me to upgrade this immediately. Allowing us to grab a villager here. And another villager here. We'll get two more warriors. You are gonna be mining stone on the back of this. And can we improve anything else? War chiefs can't be improved. Scout died while exploring a new area. Oh, look at that! The red's coming in! They're gonna claim this, the iron mines. Ooh, nasty. Well, I have a bunch of guys here. We gotta start working our way through this. They're gonna claim that for sure. Let's uh, claim this area. Get in there. Our territory is under attack. Damn it. I just sent my troops in to start fighting. All right, once they're done clearing out these Draugr, I'm going to send my warriors down here to protect our territory. Leave the war chief here. Colonize for 200 food. Yes. Okay, we've finally got enough military to start uh, killing things. Any news on the expedition you launched? I think it's just a constant thing, right? Oh, we just became a Jarl. Oh, fantastic. Uh, it's just a constant thing. They go out and increase our, our law permanently. Okay, let's grab all of our warriors back here. I think we can now double up on our healers. Can we upgrade this? Heal your clan members 100% faster? Yeah. Let's get some massive healing going. There we go. So now it's healing up all of our troops. This allows us to act a bit quicker. Oh, red didn't claim this area. Oh, they're coming back. Are they going to be claiming this this land here? I kind of want to claim this giant sword. <laughs> oh, they're going there to clear out those wolves. Okay, okay. Game is starting to get to the, the tricky part now. Now, these Valkyries are 15 attack, 75 health compared to the Draugr, which are... Oh, these Valkyries are stronger. There's three of them here as well. All right. Let's see if we can claim these guys. Come on, War Chief, you can do it. Fantastic. Kill that last Valkyrie and we'll colonize this land. We're claiming the giant sword, yes! <laughs> ah, looking good. Giant sword is ours, allows us to rec recruit three Lawmasters. So that means we could actually focus on a law victory. So that's 100% bonus. This is 50% bonus. We should just grab all of our law masters and send them all here. Relic of the gods. That should get us a lot more law. We're actually going to get a new tech here. It's going to be winter. I think it said it's going to be a blizzard, so we got to stockpile as much food as possible. New tech here. War Chief's attack by 50%. Increase your military unit's attack power by 2% for each positive happiness. Reduce power when fighting outside your territory. Mining efficiency. Silos gain 10% food production for every... Ha let's let's uh, get legendary heroes. 
And we need two more techs for Freya's blessing. We're getting 30 law a turn. Okay. We've got plenty of food, so let's just boost up our law even more. I think I can go for a tech victory. It looks like they're, they're preparing to... Uh, claim this area, which I really don't want them to do. Should I attack them? One of them's wounded, and we have the same number. That means we'll win. No, 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 wait. I didn't get the thing about fighting out of our territory, did I? Damn. Gotta wait. What's our population? Population is almost maxed, so we can go ahead and drop down another house. Have I not upgraded this house? Let's upgrade a house. Make a house a home. A territory... Oh, this territory is under attack. Good thing I left these soldiers here. Come on, kill those Draugr. Yes! <laughs> uh, Frank Muller, you put at Zach. Do put at Gamer Zach, because then it highlights it for me. Uh, hello in Old Norsk. Norsk uh, seems to be Heil. Is it just Heil? Might be. Ah, oh, this is the blizzard, huh? Minus 27, minus 27. Wow, blizzards are very harsh. Um, but we're still gonna get more soldiers on the back of this. Our scout died while exploring a new area. Okay, so it seems like this is sort of a, a, a plus a plus shaped map. Wolves Cave, colonized for 240. I think I gotta keep the food though. Okay. We're getting 21 law a turn, which is good. And we can continue. Oh, Unknown Clan has obtained Yord's blessing. So he's got two blessings. So I've got two blessings as well. So this needs unlock all blessings to achieve wisdom victory. Require. Required to achieve a wisdom victory. Ancestral knowledge. Is that like future tech? <laughs> I think it's like future tech. Ah, this winter. Did they pull back? No, they're still there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. They're all still there. So it seems like with one sort of a training camp. Oh, the blizzard's over. Fantastic. Uh, with one training camp, we can get quite a good number of troops. And winter's over. Ah, I misclicked that, but it, it works. I wanted to improve our uh, military capabilities. I can fit one more law master here. And I can actually fit one there. But there's no bonus for studying this. It's okay. We'll wait for... Few more villagers. Territory is under attack. Come on, let's go defend our area. Food's coming back up. That's good. Are we still mining the stone? Yeah, we are still. Yeah, we are still mining the stone. All right. Why is this red dude here? Oh, it's a scout. Okay. Let's kill this Draugr. Maintain our territory. Ooh, ruins. I think I, I kind of want to claim this area. Because these sheep, if you have one sheep in one area, it will reduce the need for firewood by 20% during the winter. I don't know if that stacks. 240 to colonize this. Yep, let's grab it. So current title is Jarl. We need... Oh, if we're going for... The fame. Oh, we got 630. We need a thousand fame gained, 12 areas controlled, and build the Altar of the Kings. What is the Altar of the Kings? We'll give you plus 50 fame and increase your resource production by 5%. Need 400 crowns. Expensive. But we have... Where's our scout camp? Yeah. Let's get another warrior. Just having one extra warrior, because we have two training camps, will be pretty good. Uh, you are becoming a scout. 
because I want you to explore. Has this already been explored? Oh, that's uh. Oh well. All right. We got all these warriors, and our war chief. They're a little injured. And we outnumber them by one. I'm gonna claim this area next, and we're gonna sour our relations with the red dudes. <laughs> we have enough lore to acquire new knowledge. Let's grab fur coats before we forget that, so we can fight in the winter. Let's go attack the red. Our attack has soured relations with Olaf. All of you are gonna die. Yes, kill their war chief. Oh. Another soldier coming through here, but I think it's a massive victory on my side. Red are dead. <laughs> uh, 270 to colonize this area. We're just going to maintain it for now. If I leave my troops there, they can't claim it. Looks good. Fertile land. Allows you to... Hmm. We kind of need more food. Are we getting more villagers? We are, right? Yes. Can I upgrade this Hunter's Lodge? Yes, let's upgrade the Hunter's Lodge. We can start getting more food, so we can continue to ex... Oh, we are currently at war with Olaf. Okay. Looks good. Do we want to improve any more tools? Woodcutters. Let's, uh... Let's upgrade our woodcutters. We have enough iron. Can I upgrade this? Oh, we're out of stone, is it? Let's just boost up our food production. I could build another silo. So you build that silo first. Okay. New tech. Yes. Young and proud increased... Uh, no, we don't need that. Silos gain 10% food production bonus and plus one happiness per silo. Yes. And we get Freya's Blessing. Reduces loss of food production during winter by 30%. Unlock all blessings to achieve wisdom victory. So next we need Ancestral Knowledge, which requires 15 techs. We might get a Law Victory, but I'm gonna push for a Fame Victory as well. And I assume there is also Domination Victory. By just killing your opponents, right? Oh, these guys are just... There are no wounded or sick units within your territory. Ah. We need to be in our territory to be healed. So I gotta back out a bit first. Ooh! Portals leading to Helheim have opened. We need to take defensive action before the Draugr arrive. And it looks like the Red have gotten a new war chief. So wait, where are these portals? There's gonna be two there. Okay. Oh, there's gonna be one there and Two down here. How much is it? 270 to colonize this? Okay. I'm gonna grab two warriors. I assume two warriors can handle that. And you guys are gonna come here. Now, we have more villagers. Let's train another warrior. You're gonna have to join the fight here. Hopefully this is enough. Uh, did I have a villager here? Villager. Become a hunter. Okay, that boosts our food production, which means... Ah, damn it! He's gone and sat his war chief right there. So I can't claim that territory. I'm, I'm worried about these things. Is it possible to select both of these? Our territory is under attack. Let's go fight here. Since we're walking over there anyway, we're gonna kick this war chief out. All right. Let's go kick out this war chief so I can claim this iron deposit. Yeah, we're gonna win this. Colonize for 270, yep. And bring you guys back this way. We have established contact with Bjorn, leader of the Wolf Clan. Oh, finally. 
Where is Bjorn? Down here? Oh wow, what are those? There's like some giant camp back here. Huh. Okay. We have another villager. Let's train another warrior. And this should be... I'm worried about this side. Our scout was hurt while exploring a new area. I want to see what those giants are. <laughs> Meanwhile, everything else is looking really, really good. How much is it to build that uh, Altar of Kings? Oh, we can actually place down the Altar of Kings. Let's place it in our home territory here. And we'll get... Oh, we're Max Pop. Uh, go become a villager so we can build this Altar of Kings. We still have a healer? Oh, we don't have a healer. Oh no, we do have a healer. Is everyone healed? Oh, it's just our scout. Okay. It's almost winter, so I don't think there's gonna be... Uh, a massive blizzard, so we should have enough food here. Ah, new tech, yes. Increases military unit attack power by 2% for each positive happiness. Structure made building upkeep costs reduce extra firewood reduces extra firewood consumption during winter. We are actually low on wood. Let's get stronger things, and we're under attack. Oh, you guys got to go defend that area. We're gonna send two warriors here. Ah. We're actually under attack. Uh, oh, we're okay. Did we maintain our area? Yes. Come on, let's kick this guy out. Iron deposit. We could build a defense tower right here. Oh, but we are low on wood. We're actually still gaining... I have not upgraded this. Let's upgrade our woodcutter's lodge and change a hunter to a woodcutter. Okay, good. Where now? Alright, please don't die. Let's do a bit of micro here. There we go. Okay, everyone back to work. I'm gonna maintain this area because this area is I think the very center of the map build defense tower is a hundred wood oh I think they're coming through where's the other warriors okay they're a bit scattered oh things are looking good any option here to send raids against say England I don't think so I think this is pretty much set in fantasy. And oh, we do have an Altar of Kings. And we have another spare villager here, which I'm going to bring up here. Are we still mining the stone? Oh, stone is just about finishing up here. Which means I should be able to get rid of this building, right? Yeah. Destroy building. Okay. Where is that miner? Hunter, healer, sheep, merchant... You are gonna come over here. We're gonna start mining this iron deposit. You are gonna build a mine. Fantastic. We can't grow because we need more houses. I think I think our population is fine right now. Okay, okay. So basically, we need one more area. Can we actually claim this next area? I think we can. Uh, let's defend our people first. Our scout died when exploring a new area. Ah, oh, we never got to see those giants. Never mind. We actually... Is it the end of winter? Okay. 
Get in here. Let's claim one more area. We've lost control of an area. Oh, damn. We're actually... We're actually under attack. Uh, so I lost control of that area, which is not good. Uh, you... Oh, wait, wait, wait. You should be building a defense tower. Okay, so we need to claim two more areas because we just lost one. I didn't realize we were being attacked. We need to clear out these things. They're actually quite dangerous. <laughs> uh, we need a ton of food. Let's build that and we'll get some more hunters going. We have room for... Two more hunters. So once we get this defense tower down... So how many techs do we need? We need two more techs. So it does actually take a while. It does take a while. Ah. Oh. You. Go become a hunter. There we go. I'll boost up our food. We need 270. Do I have... Oh, do I control all these sheep? I do. Um, I don't know... I guess if we distribute the sheep, it's better, right? I'm not sure what to do with sheep. Uh, we have enough lore to acquire new knowledge. Improve healing speed, extra fire consumption. Reduce building upkeep costs. Let's reduce firewood consumption during winter. So we need one more tech and we might actually win. <laughs> but let's go ahead and colonize this area. So let's now clear out this area. Our territory is under attack. Let's go defend that first. So we need to claim one more area after this and get a thousand fame. Uh, which means if I... Our longship is currently focusing on law. If I switch it to fame, I could actually push for a fame victory, right? I'm not sure how this works. But let's clear out this area here. And then we'll attack here. There we go. Stop these monsters from coming through once and for all. I think our war chief does like a lot of damage since we have all those techs. Yes, Draugr tombs. We'll rise from this place, colonize for 50 fame. Okay, there we go. Our fame is actually going up now. So 310 to colonize this area. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it before winter. Can I upgrade food silos? Improves food production in this area by 20%. We can buy stone, right? For 200 crowns. We need 10. Okay, I can spend money on that. Let's buy 5 stone. We'll upgrade our... Oh, right, we need 50 uh, crowns to do that. Let's get some proper... Food going. Oh, I think our food was reduced by the rain. 50 crowns. Upgrade the food silo. That means food's gonna go up even faster. Fantastic. Our iron deposit's still going. Do we want to upgrade anything? Let's boost our miners. And boost our healers. There we go. And then we can colonize this area. Stop these Draugr from coming through. Allow us to bring our troops back this way. So we can have any sort of central reaction. And that means we now have 12 areas and almost a thousand fame. So we're actually evenly going for a fame victory and a law victory. So when we reach a thousand fame, we'll win. Right? 
let's go mess up. I think if we take control of this area and we sever this from the rest of Red's empire, it means uh, this, this should disconnect, right? Like you can't have a disconnecting area. 390 to colonize that. That's fine. Let's find out what happens. So they lose control as long as we sit here. What is this? Ruins. Treasures are waiting to be found here, but can only only scouts have the courage to venture there. That's fine. All right, so this did look like a, a four player map. But there was supposed to be one player who started up here somewhere. And have they lost control? They have lost control. Do they get to maintain this? I don't know. We'll find out if it disconnects soon after. We got 9, 10. This is... Oh, it's actually really close. Do we get... Uh, we get more fame for taking control of territory. So that's at 1,000, going for 1,260. This is at 911, which I will be claiming one more piece of land here. Oh, we're under attack. Oh, it looks like, who is this? Green is coming in to clear that out. So that gave us a bit more fame. I think we're going to have a law victory here. Uh, yes, please kill that Draugr. There we go. So it seems like you can actually maintain this territory. I'm not going to let them, though. I wish I could select all of my units at once, just to keep them going together. Now this green guy is just scouting out my lands. Uh, I think we're going to get a law victory here. And here we go. Fought back against Red. Bjorn has finally reached the fame title of Jarl. Way behind me, though. This is on normal difficulty, though, so there is a higher difficulty setting. Can I slaughter sheep for more food? No, I cannot. Uh, sheep seem to be a... Oh, wait, no, we can. Slaughter a sheep to gain 80 food. Oh. <laughs> Z-L-O-C-H-K-0-O-8. Oh, um, thank you for pointing uh, asking that question. It turns out you can slaughter a sheep to gain more food. So if we slaughter the sheep, we get 80 food, allowing us to colonize things faster. So where's, where's the other sheep? Because we already have enough for this. Reduce building upkeep costs. So if I do this, I win, right? But let's say... Are they losing control of this? Let's colonize another area. So do you guys want me to get the fame victory or the law victory? Because I'm pretty sure if I click that, I win. Required to achieve a wisdom victory. I'm not sure if it lists out victory requirements anywhere else. Because I'm about to win with fame. <laughs> uh, it says required to achieve a wisdom victory. Unlock all blessings to achieve a wisdom victory. Yeah. So, fame or wisdom? Which one do you want me to win by? Your timer is up there. When that hits a thousand, I'm gonna win. The slaughter option's cool for the... Oh, we're gonna lose a territory. Oh, did we actually lose that territory? Ah, huh, was that green? Green. Green, I thought we were friends, or at least neutrals. <laughs> Colonize for 390. Go for a... <laughs> I'm not going for a domination victory. Uh, wisdom? I could go for wisdom. I did lose control of this area. 
So I'll need to recapture it to push my fame back up. Ooh, there's been tremors. I'm sure I had more sheep around here, right? So we slaughter the sheep for a quick food boost. Let's go for... Since green's coming back in, I'm just gonna click on this. This should win us the game. Yes? Victory! Yes! <laughs> Congratulations, you have achieved a wisdom victory. Fantastic. Ah, oh, finally. So it's a pretty long game. Let's uh, stop these green guys from messing with us, though. So, we have actually achieved a wisdom victory. And what is that guy? A berserker? How do you get a berserker? We were destroyed! What is a berserker? How do you get a berserker? It's not from the training camp. Is there another building I didn't build? Forge. Allows you to reforge the sort of Odin. Altar of Kings, Carved Stone, Long Ship, ho Hall of Skalds. Train your villagers to become Skalds who will increase your clan's fame and happiness. How do you get a Berserker? Wow. Okay, so even though I've played a full game here, it's taken about an hour plus here. There's still more to learn. How does this game compare to Age of Empires? It's a completely different game. Completely. Um, this is all territory based. Much less on the micro, much more on the macro. I do not know how you get berserkers though. Look at that. I left green alone for too long and now he's, he's strong enough to fight me off. <laughs> but we still achieved the wisdom victory, uh, which is from here. Almost got a fame victory as well. Just lost a bit of fame from losing territory to green. I think that's what he was trying to stop. I guess the AI decided, let's not just let him take the fame victory. Anyway, we can quit the title. That's fine. That was Northgard. Honestly, I thought it was... Uh, at first, I thought it was going to be a somewhat more of a casual experience. Just Not just based on how it looks, but also... Because it's a lot less micro-focused, you're not really clicking individual units and twitchy skill-based sort of stuff. This is all more on the macro side, with a little bit of micro. And it was fun. I liked it. And it's going... So this is, this is before it's gone into early access on Steam. And it's going to go into early access, and they're going to start adding more to it. Two more clans, and I expect more units, more buildings, stuff like that. And it's continuing on the whole Vikings are a trend thing. So Vikings apparently are a trend in 2017. With Expeditions Viking, the Viking scenarios, Winter Update for Civ 6, and also for Honor where you can play Vikings. It's, it's sort of very Viking-y, isn't it? Anyway, that was North Guard by Shiro Games. This review copy was provided by them. And as... I mentioned earlier, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the eye icon in the top right corner to vote on what you think of the game. Sounds good, sounds good. And that's going to be it for today's stream. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a preview, sort of first look at Northgard. I think they've only just sent out the first batch of uh, preview keys because this is basically almost the beta build which is going into... Uh, um, into, well, early access. And they did mention there's a list of features that they haven't included, which will be coming soon. I think I saw things like control groups and all sorts of stuff. Very cool. I'll put that in the description of the YouTube video. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. My name has been Gamerzak. This has been Northgard by Shiro Games. An upcoming Viking RTS with territory, more focus on the macro, less on the micro, with a little bit of micro. It's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for now. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!